everyone, I'm Anita. I'm an author and today we're going to have a special presentation for you. The American School Foundation presents Web of Life. I am proud to be an ASF alumni, class of 1990. Little did I know that the American School would be a huge influence in my future career as a writer. In fourth grade, we got a brand new librarian who was so nice. Unfortunately, I cannot remember her name, but she certainly influenced my future as a writer because she gave us a project where we each had to write our own book and we could choose any topic we wanted. And I loved this project. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the finished project, but at least I still have the original manuscript. My book was called Picky and Friend, and it was published in 1981. After this project, I got my first journal, and I never stopped writing in journals again. So you can just imagine the collection that I have. But don't think that the librarian was the only person in the American school to motivate me to become a writer. In sixth grade, I do remember my teacher, Miss Holden, who taught us the mnemonic Roy G. Biv, so that we would never forget the order and the colors of the rainbow. Who would have ever thought that many years later, Miss Holden's mnemonic would come back to me in a dream? And all of a sudden, I got this idea for a great story with magic and balloons and all kinds of good stuff. So I had to get out of bed, get some coffee, and start writing. And this is how my first book, The Magical Balloons, was born. This book did so well that I was absolutely hooked. So I decided to write more books. I set myself a goal of writing 10 in total. And the rest is history. The Magical Balloons. The Little Lost Truck. Africa meets India. Miss Pearly White. Oscar and the Zoo. This particular book introduces children to healthy eating and exercise. So I decided to send a copy to then First Lady Mrs. Obama for her Let's Move program. She was so kind that she sent me a thank you letter, which I will always cherish. Poor little Pluto. One step at a time. The Tale of Five Tales. Desiree in Disarray. And finally, Zippy the Train. So there you have my 10 books. And now I'm starting on my first chapter book. And that's the end, my friends. I hope you did enjoy. Also, don't forget to visit my website, anitasaxbooks.com. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Anita Sachs Books. Please take care of yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye. So the first question here from Anita Sachs. What, Anita, what would you say to someone who is considering a career in writing? And actually, two questions. So that's the first one. What would you say to someone who's considering a career in writing? And the second one, how do you manage your creative outlet, creative outlet being your job and maintaining it your passion? Well, um... I would say that, you know, um, I've always been very creative. I think you need to use your imagination. I think if you want to write uh, something, I, you should just open up a notebook and start writing whatever it is that comes to your mind. Um, you can get inspired by 
life itself, anything, when you go out, when you, you know, um, anything, uh, uh, personal, uh, something personal that has happened to you. Um, I, I, for example, wanted to write stories. I, I mean, I got influenced a lot by ASF because I wanted to write stories to educate children and to motivate their um, their um, uh, self-esteem, promote self-esteem. So all of my books are didactic or they promote friendship or they acceptance. And uh, and um, I guess that's about it. I mean, I just, uh, I've always loved to write. And I think if you wanna write, you should just write. That's amazing, completely agree just follow what you love to do exactly writing I writing. very important even even if it ends up being a hobby like even because you know even if you have some other career um but that is your passion you should do it and that'll keep you happy <laughs> amazing thank you so much anita you're welcome we have